When Ebola broke out in Sierra Leone in 2014, Andrew Kemmel was working on the Ebola response team. He became the lead contact tracer in Cambia District, two hours drive outside of Freetown. It was horrible. It was really horrible. I saw people dying. At the beginning, it was scary. The main challenge in contact tracing were getting people to actually believe that indeed there was an outbreak of a disease called Ebola. Understanding the communities, some of communities very hard to reach. It was really challenging. Having a vaccine for Ebola is a welcome news. Since 2014, through its advanced purchase commitment, Gavi has provided funding to fast track the development of this vaccine. We have established a stockpile of hundreds of thousands of doses. It is these doses that have helped to control the latest Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and will be available free of charge to low-income countries in the event of other outbreaks. But now there is a new threat. Due to COVID-19 physical distancing measures, health centers like this one, matron of Jenner Wright Clinic in Freetown, only administer 30 vaccinations per day. That number would be up to 60 under normal circumstances. Andrew is worried about the people who will miss out on routine vaccination. Just like, like Ebola, it has also seriously affected our healthcare system. Because now you can see almost all health interventions have been diverted to COVID response. So if the trend continues like this, no matter, definitely I am worried that we can have outbreaks of diseases like uh, measles. This is why it is very important to continue with routine immunization for children because it will help to prevent outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases. Gavi is helping countries adapt routine immunization programs so that they can continue during the COVID-19 pandemic. Gavi is working with partners to set up an innovative mechanism to accelerate development, production, and equitable access to COVID-19 vaccines to make sure they're available to everyone, no matter where they live. When we come to the fight of COVID-19, we are in it together.